you have spare bait? Why? I need food for a pet. He is hiding, and I need to lure him out. You want to see the king in yellow? How did you know? He's beautiful. That is why. Everyone wants to see the king in yellow. What are you doing, kid? That must be painful. Take it. This will definitely help you. He loves my skin. Mother Evelina says I can't feel pain. I use skin to call my mother and father too. But they don't seem to love it. Only the king in yellow does. Thank you, Anton. But don't do that anymore. It could be dangerous if it gets infected. <laughs> Take care. Goodbye. Mr. Wilde has chosen you. Where is he? You called him. He answered. You can see him now. This room is the same as before. Except for this yellow cat that just showed up. That is him. The king in yellow is Mr. Wilde. Mr. Wilde is the king in yellow. Mr. Wilde is a cat? Mr. Wilde is the name of his earthly being. The body has an essence, a soul. That soul is the king in yellow. You can think of yourself as a lucky man. He loves to eat human skin. But I think he chose you because of the circumstances. What circumstances? Strange is the night when dark arises On a strange night like this with a full moon Stranger still is the lost man Lost in Carcassa woods Dr. Hatur sang today's circumstances in sorrow But the king loves this song So what now? Ask the king in yellow I'm just his servant I have to talk to a cat. Is this man one of Hatur's patients on the loose? I would like your permission to go upstairs. I have to talk to Hatur. The king says you are not allowed. You may, though, go to his room. If I don't go upstairs, how... where can I find his room? There is a passage leading to it. The king will not help you find it, but neither will he obstruct you. What are you doing? What's going on? I'm not allowed to see it. You are free to step inside, though beware, it is a one-way pass. Once you get in, there is no coming back. You will have to find another way out. Can I go into the maze? The king says you are allowed to go. Nothing bad will happen to me? You are afraid of who you are. What does that mean? That it is safe for you. I'm only the messenger. The king says you may go. Do not seek further instruction. Just go and don't look back. Not everyone has this opportunity. Excuse me.
This must be the heart of the maze. If the maze is as old as the building, then this oak tree should be as old as both, if not even older. Is it possible that a treasure is hidden below? I want to know. I descended steep stairs and walked through a long tunnel to get here, at the bottom of the lake. A long dead corpse is resting here. He died looking at the beauty of the water above. The medallion of a 15th century pope Innocent the Eighth. He acknowledged witchcraft, condemned it, and made sure to hunt and exterminate those who practiced it. Looks like a journal to me. I'll take it. I could get out of here quickly. Lucas said it's not possible to come back. Am I really ready to go in? I'm going in. Uh, what is this place? It's like I entered into a hellish nightmare. And there's no going back now. Kelly Sue Drayton. How is this possible? I remember this painting from the orphanage. My mother, the only person who stood up for me. My father. He used to tell me I'm nothing but a sin, and called me God's degenerate. My brothers and sisters from the orphanage. Horrible souls deserve a horrible fate. I must be losing my mind. Mother, is that really you? Anton Ferro Istarsky. Why am I seeing you? The painting from the orphanage. How did it end up in this place? Lies. In the real painting, I was standing by your side, and there were no other children. Mother. I was waiting for you. Demonic slave! Where is she? Where's my mud?
The path the old lady told me about. It's too dark and terrifying. All sorts of negative emotions are hitting me in this blackness, and I can't see a thing. I need light. It's locked. Do you mind if I take this lamp? Huh. That dust collecting thing is here because I inherited it with the house. Go ahead, but don't forget to return it. Sometimes it gets very dark in this valley. Without a lamp, I could get lost. Darker than this? It appears to be empty. I need to find some oil to make it work. Never mind. giant bowl made out of clay, filled with what seems to be some type of oil. A giant bowl... This should be enough. Do you happen to have any spare matches? You are afraid of darkness. Look into the angel's vase. Take what you find. I will. Thank you, Madam Vera. Excuse me. The Catechism... I can see a matchbox, and a strange crucifix that looks more like a weapon of sorts. I believe it could kill a beast. Nothing in there anymore. Oh my god, this is horrible. I've never seen so many. It's a dumping site. Moths, symbols of fake faith. It looks like they died of infection after feasting on this mass. It's that same dreadful mass from the balcony. Whoever did this has a wicked soul. The crows must have been fetching it here and 
leaving it on the balcony. But for what reason? Two different kinds of footprints here. Fresh footprints. No way I can be sure one of them belongs to Victoria, but this proves Vera was right. She wasn't imagining the whispers from the woods. I wonder, how could my sister possibly know the Warden? Where did they meet? He was looking for her last night, before the incident. And then they talked afterwards here. Why? Something must have happened to her in the last few years. Both of our parents perished, and now... Our bloodline is cursed. It's not a fairy tale. It's our reality. I have to go to the lodge. Tell Nikolai I was right. He can do whatever he wants after that. I did my part. I'm leaving. No one can judge me or condemn me after... I have to get out of here immediately! With a bit of God's help and quick feet, I may be able to get to the lodge, then straight to the station before the last train leaves. <sighs> My back... it hurts so bad. I haven't walked so quickly since I was a first grader. I'm not climbing up that thing. It looks unstable. Besides, I have no reason to do it. All alone here? Where's everyone else? Where's your owner? Come over here! Through the passage! The king says you are here to see that friend of yours. Who is your king? The king in yellow. He who opens passages. Where is he? Spiritually, everywhere. Physically, right now, in the lobby. And yellow. A cat is your king? He is everyone's king. He only chooses to appear as a cat. Do not deceive yourself in thinking he is merely a pet. He gets angry easily, and you don't want to get him angry. I'm trying to find Nikolai, not a friend. I don't know the man's name, but since we don't get many visitors, that must be him. If you find him, tell him he owes me a pack of matches. I had to light a lot of candles because of him. Why? What happened? When he got in here, all the lights in the lodge went out. I've never felt a stronger, more bone-chilling draft in my life. Where did he go afterwards? Certainly not back through the lobby, as the door was closed. He could only have gone in one direction. Into the tower. And from there, who knows? This building is full of secret passageways. What caused the draft? I don't know. Something from the tower, I suppose. The king does not want to tell me. He's playing awfully coy about this. Nikolai didn't cause the draft, then? Yes, he did. This hallway leads to Mr. Golden's room, where your friend was headed. He caused the draft. Could you go upstairs and check for him? I can wait in the lobby. <laughs> no, I've never been in this part of the lodge before. Never in the tower. And never in the warden's room. No way. He's your friend. You should go. I already told you he's not my friend. Whatever. You have no choice. 
The king is telling me you have to go in there. On one condition, though. I won't see him anymore. So you have to pay for his debt. What would that be? I'll give you a clue. What do I need to repel darkness in the lodge? You need to stop believing in that king of yours. Turn to God instead. I need something that makes fire. That's all. Pay for the debt, and I'll let you go upstairs. Here, Nikolai's debt. You may go into the tower now. Where are you going? Now that I have this matchbox, I have work to do. Couldn't you at least wait here? Sorry, sir. I wasn't supposed to even see the hallway. I'm sure that god of yours will help you get out of there. Wait! I could have just left this town. Sometimes I don't understand myself. A man proudly seated in his king-sized chair, surrounded by cats, could be someone important. It looks shockingly similar to the cat in the lobby. It has a menacing stance, as if safeguarding its master. A congress of felines. Some people worship them and think they are superior animals. Anton Ferro Istarsky. This room appears empty, but the candles are still lit. Not sure why I would need one. A dense fog rises above the lake, creeping inland. A couple of books regarding the human mind and a quill that was used on a piece of paper to draw. Wooden twigs tied with tiny threads, or plant roots. Three triangles tied in the middle, with another twig. This is beyond my interest of knowing. It must be witchcraft, or something to worship the devil. Seven symbols, all very different from one another. The round one could be an iteration of the accursed evil eye. I could be wrong, but there seems to be something reflective at the end of the hole. I'd need something long enough to reach it. The book's title is An Inhabitant of Sabor. Using one of these might help me to reach the end of that hole. The Warden's Secret Passage. It could be a trap, but I have no other choice have to descend. It was a harrowing walk. There was no light. Every step I made was a danger. The child at the end of the pier surely must have seen Nikolai and the warden come out of here. I should ask. Hi, little one. Can I ask you some questions? I'm not little one. I'm Anton. 
Anton, have you seen anyone coming out of that tunnel? I saw you. That is good, but anyone before me? Two men. One had the eyes of a dead man. Where did they go? They drove away with the boat. Disappeared into the fog. Eyes of a dead man. Was he dead? He was breathing. The warden dragged him. Do you come here often? Fishing. Yes. So you know the warden? Of course. He is always good to me. Always gives me food. Says I have to gain weight. You think he took the other man to the asylum? No. He uses the boat only when meeting with the moon ghouls. They always go to the same place. It's on the other side of the lake. How do you know about that place? My mother Evelina told me all about it. Nothing else is in that direction. What did she say about the place? Kleck. That is the name. When night falls, witches gather on that hill. They sing and dance in front of three white fingers. Mother says they once belonged to an evil giant. Who belonged? The fingers or the witches? <laughs> Fingers! Witches come to collect to call the demons from the mountain. They make and eat babies together. What kind of woman tells stories like this to a child? You saw the moon ghouls? More than once. And they did nothing to you? They could not. Dr. Hatur was taking them away with the boat. Are they man or beast? Both. Their whole body is yellow. They don't have faces. Their faces are shadows. Isn't it dangerous to be out at this hour of night? Day, night, it's all the same to me. The only thing that matters is to finally find my mother and father. Where are they? In the lake, hiding from me. Who told you that? Evelina. And now you are here fishing for your parents? Yes, but they don't love my skin. Or maybe they can't smell it in the water of the lake. I don't know. I have to go now. What are you going to do? Who could help me get to Click? You need a boat. You can't walk there. It is too far away. And you can't swim. Harley is home to my mother and father. They would be angry if you did. So, where can I find a boat? On my way here, I always pass by the old man. He has a boat. Arsen is his name. Just walk into the woods left of the lodge. His house is on a small island. Take care, little one. <laughs> Take care, little priest. And if you see my mother and father, please tell them I'm waiting here. Which path should I take?
I see pentagrams. And the letters V, M, I, and K. These are witch marks. Carvings created to ward off evil spirits from the house. An old boat. It's covered with a tarp. Arson? Who is it? It's Benedict, sir. Sorry to disturb you, but I've been told you could help me. Who told you that? A boy named Anton? What do you want? Is that boat over there yours? What are you, Benedek? What do you mean? I don't know you. You don't live here. Who are you? I am Benedek Dohnani. I serve God. You are a priest. A monk from Budapest. Good. We shall continue this conversation then. Have you seen a female stranger lately? No. No? Without even giving it a thought first? No one visits me except Ida, the souvenir shopkeeper. I am sure I saw no female strangers in years. About the boat. You can't have it. Oh, I didn't mean... I, I've never used one. I thought that maybe you could go with me. No! The boat is occupied and no one can use it. And even if it wasn't... I am too old and too weak to board it. Occupied by what? You have my permission to uncover the tar. Why don't you just tell me? It's better if you see it with your own eyes. Do you know anyone else who could lend me a boat? No one goes to the lake. There are no other boats. That's a lie. What about, what about the boat, boat at the lodge? lodge? You, you don't, don't want, want to find yourself on that one. It, it belongs to the asylum. I'm, I'm the only one with the boat. No other inhabitant has one. Why would they? There's nothing here, and it's dangerous. What did last night's effigy symbolize? You were there? Unfortunately. I never do. I don't like crowded places, but I could see the fire from here, and it was beautiful. We torch it every year on the day of our patron saint, Ivan Kotar. The giant symbolizes a member of the Saborian tribe. Yesterday was October 28th. What happened on that day? The day Ivan Kotar was murdered. Murdered? Yes, we celebrate. Nay. Glorify the final moment of Kotar's long sacrifice for our ancestors, and us, for us. Who murdered him? Decapitated by Vatican emissaries. For what reason? Accused of allying himself with the darkness from the mountain. It's... It was such a horrible, horrible decision. Poor man gave his life for this town and its inhabitants, only to end up locked in his room and ultimately slain like an animal. The more I hear about this town and its mysteries, I just can't believe it. Did you know Jakob Frenger? He was a priest and a good friend of mine. I heard he disappeared on a full moon night, like many others in the past. And that's it? No one knows what happened to him? I'm afraid all we can do is pray for his soul. What do you know about the moon ghouls? They are everywhere. In the water, in the town, and the forest, on the mountain, and in the ma. Mala? What is that? It's what you strangers call the fog. 
Hell, even some Katarians call it that because they don't know or don't want to accept the truth. The moon ghouls are in the fog? Mala is not what it seems to be. It is not fog. You feel any humidity? Have you noticed the ground? It is completely dry. Because Mala is not a mass of water particles. What is Mala then? The remains of dead Saborans, or as many prefer to call them, Moon Ghouls. They think if they don't pronounce the tribe's true name that they will be safe, which is nothing but a fallacy. Like, like I said and thought a hundred times before, this place is doomed. We just need one man, a savior. Someone like our Ivan Kotar from the past. What do you do here? Trying to stay alive for as long as possible. I mean, what do you do for a living? I sell fish. That old camper across the bridge is yours? Yes, it was home to my parents before they settled in Sveti Kotar. They were... Wanderers? I wanted to save fools. I loved them. But for God's sake, why choose this town to start a family? We don't get to pick our parents. And yet whatever they do, we never stop loving them. Maybe it's not love. Maybe we are cursed the moment we are born. You fish in the lake? I never did. The waters are dead. Nothing grows or lives in them. Fish are sent to me every once in a while from other regions in Croatia. I have friends, mostly in Istria. I need to get to the other side of the lake. It's important. You can walk or swim. The lake, the lake doesn't, doesn't look inviting, inviting to dip in, and it's cold. Didn't you just say it's important? If it is, you can do it. How long would it take me to get a clack on foot? Clerk, probably a day. Why would you want to visit that damned locality? A man I'm trying to find could be there. You strangers, why even come to this town? It wasn't my choice. Either way. You are a captive now. We are all captives of this place. Imprisoned souls waiting for our savior. Sir, with all due respect, this town needs a legion of exorcists to be saved. It needs just one soul with pure faith. One man, one soul to free us all. Excuse me. Oh my god! Two bodies. Two children. Long dead. Why the priest's robe and nun's habit? Two bodies. Why the priest's I've never seen a wood so dark in color as this one. It's almost like coal. It's me again. You keep the corpses of two children in your boat? My father and mother were small people. Midget says some would say. What are they doing in there? Laying peacefully in their temporary grave. A temporary grave? They were recently exhumed and I had to take care of them. I don't understand. Who exhumed them? Henry. The priest of Sveti Kota. He banished me from the church 
And so my parents had to move out from the town's graveyard. Soil outside the church walls is tainted. The boat was the safest place. They were clergy? No. I dressed them as such to protect their bodies. The moon ghouls eat flesh, and they don't care if it's warm or cold. They were cl- No, the- Why, Why the, the massive, massive cross on top? To protect them from the moon ghouls. Fade is the only thing that wards them off. But not for long. Was it torched? The wood is very dark. I made it from the trees that grew behind my house. I would never torch a cross. What, what sin have you committed to have been banished? Son, we are all original sinners, waiting for redemption. We are, but you, you did, did something to deserve it. God knows that is not the truth. Listen, talk to Henry, reason with him. He must unban me. Why would I do that? Because you need the boat. If Henry accepts, I could move my parents back into their grave and the boat would be free again. It's an opportunity to fulfill Father Imre's wish as well. Where can I find his church? The church of Ivan Kotar. Go back through the square, find the police station, then follow the alley to your right. Just be sure not to stray into Kuga. Wicked, evil people wander the former school district. They have no soul and have lost all faith. You have no intention of telling me what you did? I don't know. One day, he just said we are not welcome anymore. You have to ask him. I'll see what I can do. He's not an easy man to talk to, but maybe he'll be more reasonable with you. Excuse me. 